Is she anus? Now, before you even start your answer, he's gonna say, oh, I just take a fiber no, supplement no. and I don't ever have to wipe and it's never itchy. Oh yeah, Mr. No, Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Perfect, Mr. so wait. go ahead and give me your spiel. So, I'll give you the spiel. If someone comes to my office and then they say, my butt itches. The first thing I say is, welcome to the club. Right. No. Dr. Orden? Does my anus ever itch? Yeah. Thank there you. Go. you. Okay. Now, I'm fessed up. the main reason. Come on, man up. I, but I have so many other problems on that wheel, just not that one. Not that one? Thank God, because I won't wish it on my, on my worst enemy. It is a nightmare, and I've been dealing with it since 2000, and it's multifactorial. But the number one thing is stool consistency. And even if, when the stools are perfect, it's a great day, and if you're wiping a little bit more, it's a bad day, because the stool will seep out like toothpaste. And a little bit of stool right on your skin irritates the skin. And if you start licking your lips, your skin gets irritated because saliva in the mouth is no problem. Just like stool in the anus is no problem. When the stool hits the skin, just like your mouth gets red and irritated from saliva, which doesn't belong there, so does the anus and it gets itchy. And when you scratch, forget it. That's like taking a shot of heroin. You have a toothpaste stool, yeah. you still need to clean the toothpaste up. Impossible. And so, yeah, so it's what more do you do? What's the best up. way it's to do it? It's more difficult. Don't have a toothpaste stool. Well, right, but that's right. where I was, I was being facetious and, earlier. Yeah. Right. Some people, no matter how hard they try, yeah. Right, I've heard this. And, and what do you think the garden hose is for? <laughs> the spray, well, the handheld, the handheld spray. But, but that irritates it some more. Yeah. You know, so so some people water. are, that's why some people are more prone to just this right. consistency of consistency their stool. Of the stool, hemorrhoids play a role. Right, but, what if, you, but wipe if you do have a soft stool, you should probably eat more fiber Correct. to solidify it. So. Psyllium, we yeah, talk psyllium. about it all the time, and if it comes out, Perfect. If you have the perfect poop and you wipe once and it's clean and you don't even and you're like like wow this is great your day is great. What about topicals you guys recommend if someone has an itchy anus? This well, is that's a great question. Go ahead, Ali. No, I was just thinking when you talked about that somebody should come up with like anal lipstick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you just like, yeah. that's like right. Seems like a good like group. Chapstick. <laughs> the chapstick. I like well, the chapstick. I, no, but I, think, I think you can I probably recommend... use like chapstick, but just don't. No, listen, I recommend well, anything that has aloe. If you're going to use some of the right. wipes that have aloe as opposed to the, nothing that contains alcohol because right. that's going to burn it more. Right. But I think you were also alluding to the fact that things like hemorrhoids can cause right. itching. If you have if you're a child or a younger person, anybody really, right. and it itches all the time, especially at night when you're asleep, you gotta think of pinworms. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of other things. And if you're older, you'd also have to at least put on the differential anal cancer if you had right, chronic correct. itching that no yeah. matter what was going on with your stools, right? Right. Yeah. So and I mean this in all seriousness, you have taken away so much of the shame or the shame yeah. with the stigma. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if you aren't sure what's going on, Go mm -hmm. see a proctologist or a gastroenterologist and say, hey doc, can you just take a look down there and make yeah. sure everything's yeah. okay?